What's up everyone, AJ here with another episode of building a custom website in Webflow. Um, and if you guys are first tuning in, I highly suggest go checking out um, the other videos in this channel. Uh, but essentially, what we have been able to build is a custom designed website. Um, I just, you know, thinking off the top of my head here, added some animate hero, we added a nice hero section with an animated Lottie. Um, we have a nav tab bar here, um, and we can even, I think this might look better if it's all the same color. And um, we have a little background shadow, we're in dark mode. We have uh, a work section, so kind of displaying some custom cards. Um, these are just some projects I've been working on. And then we have a skills section, just explaining some of my skills, again, using grid, um, and uh, what we are now going to work on is we're going to add another section and this section can be trying to think what would be cool um, actually what uh, yeah this section we could just do um, a, con uh, a contact section let's just, let's just add a contact section and we're gonna copy this, I'm gonna call this contact. Okay, and what we're gonna do is come in this main body, add a div block, and this div block is gonna be, again, 100VH. It's gonna be a flex box, and we're gonna center everything, and this is gonna be contact wrapper, okay. Then we're gonna add a div block inside of that, and it's gonna be contact content, right? And so we gotta think what we wanna display, right? So I like having a form on the left and maybe some cool illustration, maybe we can add another Lottie animation in there to um, you know, beef up, beef up our, uh, our, uh, our website. So, what we'll do is we'll add a, a grid and we're gonna wanna make this again, just a one row grid. And then we're gonna first go to our content, contact content. I'm gonna make this a thousand pixels and this grid is obviously already 100% and this is gonna be contact uh, grid. Perfect. Come in here, add a div block. Come in here, add another div block. And this is gonna be contact grid left. It's gonna be contact grid right. I, I so I've, I've been seeing a lot how, how a lot of people kind of I guess build their Webflow uh, websites. Um, a lot of them reuse a lot of the same components, right? Like they, they these this is like a little component where you can assign to an element like a div and you can continue to repeat that, right? Um, for me, I just love labeling things related to sections um, and I like using a lot of little components because I customize a lot of things. So, you know, there's like, for instance, this, you know, this contact, this grid is gonna have some different element properties. Like um, I'm gonna push the, the form in a little um, where this grid won't, right? It's gonna, it's gonna show the whole lot of animation. Um, so with that being said, we definitely want to add a form block and then let's add a Lottie. Okay. That's cool. And, um, in this, let's also add a heading. Uh, actually let's put that above the grid. Okay. Get in, Get in touch. Okay. And it's going to be contact heading. And do. Let's uh, underline it. And it's going here. And let's underline it. Perfect. And let's see what I'm talking about. 10 view height. Um, so we'll get rid of this. And this is going to be name, text field, name, it's going to be 
text field email and then we need to add a, a text area to this form All right and it's going to be text field description okay it's going to be uh, contact button okay and we're gonna actually have to, yeah, so this is cool. All right, and what I like doing is, let's go ahead and make this a vertical flex box. And let's have it take up the whole width. And let's come in here and do like 80% on all these. 80%, okay. And corner radius, I like the 30, 30, and 30. Um, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna bring this up like 20 and try to center this. Okay. And then the button is gonna be Make this like 20. We can do 30. Oh. 30. 30. And after that, 10. 10. And uh, let's see here. Let's make this 20. And make this a bold. And uh, let's keep it the same green. And I kind of want to, yeah. yeah. And let's actually just put this back to white. Kind of like it like that. And what's the shadow on this guy? Doesn't have any. So let's add some real quick. Uh, 15, 30, that's cool. And maybe we maybe we do like a, a cool orange. Let's do this orange. Add some different color buttons. Okay, and uh, let's do black shadows. 180 degrees, 15, and then 30 blur. Okay. And then this text field name, placeholder, enter uh, first and last name, dot, dot, dot. This is required. This is a plain, uh, oh, name, first and last name. Okay. And uh, the text is going to be black here. Um, I kind of want to make this like kind of want to make these like a specific color. And uh, let's get rid of the strokes and make this a placeholder and. white and okay get rid of this and let's make this 54 pixels this guy 54 pixels first and last name and we can probably make a cooler color than that we go with this orange theme Make it like a dark like that. Okay, so come in here, add the background, get rid of the strikes, FF, uh, get rid of the borders, 
Uh, this placeholder text is going to be white and get rid of placeholders and then yep and then we gotta come in here enter uh, email da, da, da. Um, okay it's gonna be email field and then it's gonna center as well and it's gonna be ff placeholder it's gonna be white Okay, close out of that. Let's grab this background color. Just add that there. Get rid of the borders. Enter. And what we have here is contact form. Uh, and this is uh, contact form wrapper. Alright, and what we can do is it's definitely. Uh, so I should go back to here. We actually have to go to the grid and push this. Oh, we don't want that. Okay. What we'll do here is can I make this? Yeah, there we go. Okay. But I but I want this guy to align left. So what we'll do is we'll come in this contact form, we'll push it over 10%, maybe 20%, and then we'll come in here and we'll make it 100, make it 90. Okay. Okay. And then what we can do is pixels, 10 pixels, 10 pixels, and let's make you like to the edge. Actually, let's, let's lower this, and perfect. Okay, so we have our get in touch section, very basic, and what we can do is head on over to shape.so, and uh, Plug in my computer here, it's a little slow. <laughs> okay. Let's go to animated illustrations. And let's find like this cool orange uh, email. So, Yeah, it's this guy. And some of the JSON. Head on back over. Let's upload. And communication with JSON. And let's replace this guy with. Oh. That's not what I downloaded. <laughs> This is weird. It's not. <laughs> Let's see here. A little buggy though. The website. Oh snap. Uh, communication. Let's uh. See if we can get one of these. Hmm. But this doesn't have the colors I want. Wonder what happens. 
This is weird. I'm seeing uh, this issue. Like this, one, it doesn't have the right labels. <laughs> okay, so maybe we can just. Let's do this one. We can get some animation up there. Alright, let's see what we got here. Chat conversation. Okay, so let's replace you with this. And let's loop it. And let's just show up. Perfect. Cool. And just for the sake of it, let's actually try to make these more like a, like a salmon. Maybe, I think it's more like down here. Let's see if that looks again. It's like a little salmon color. Let's try to match that. Um, I'll make it too bright. maybe you know let's make it like this this cool blue actually right here right does that have cool blue yeah let's make this is like a vibrant blue and then let's uh let's move this guy yeah let's make it like darker yeah there we go. It's better. These look flat almost. All right, cool. So, what we've now created, and uh, let's come in here and let's name this uh, contact. Come in here, and let's move this contact. All right, so now what we've created, um, and actually, you know, I really don't like this green, so we're gonna do like a. Yeah, do you know what we can do? Let's do this. Let's make this white, but let's do a background. Like, just like cool purple. Yeah, I like this. And then what we can do is do a radius of like 20. And let's lower it to like 10. Right? And let's bump it 10 pixels, right? So now what happens is we got this cool little but these tabs, um, and we can come down here and add this like little transitions, and let's uh, let's make it all properties, and it's just a little smoother. So okay, let's publish this. Let's check it out. So we got this cool little space, animated space, come down here, got our cards, got our skills, we got a little get in touch, right, so basic little website, something nice, and uh, what we're going to do in the next video is make this responsive, uh, this whole website, and then we're going to add animation to it, and that's going to be the fun part, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode, um, but that's it, I'll see you guys in the next one.